Matthew and Dan here from MiniWarGaming.com bringing you another Dark Potential playtest session. This is session number three. We're using rules from 0.1.5. So if you've already watched the one between Dave and myself, then uh, that was 0.1.4. And so there's some updates here. So what we'll talk about what those updates are. Dan hasn't played since 0.1.3. So no. on video or on camera, we're going to explain the differences there just so that everybody starts to get more used to the rules once again a warning these play tests are long and unedited so um if you don't want to sit back for two hours and watch us play a game then don't watch this video other ways otherwise other ways anyways enjoy let's take a look at the board and the armies so here we are with the board we decided to go all cities of death style on this green board, which actually works because most of the roads would be overgrown. And uh, But the last time we did this, we had problems with line of sight. We did. Me meaning that you could easily get line of sight because of all the windows and everything. And so this time we made sure we did more blocking of line of sight. And we did that by putting these buildings as well. So when you come down here, you'll find that it's harder to get long firing lanes. You can still get them, but it's harder. And then we even threw some of this terrain into the building as well, just to block key areas. And just like, for example, with this building not facing the open areas towards the center of the board. Just so that there's less firing lines and requires you to move around and maneuver a lot more. It's important for this game that you don't just have line of sight everywhere. So, let's talk about changes in 0.1.3. There might be some that we'll have to just do during the game. But uh, changes to the armies. Uh, the main change to the corporation is the heavy flame launcher guy. It's no longer a move and shoot weapon. Ooh. So he can, he's still slower, he's a 5 inch movement instead of 6. He's a lot more scary now. Yeah, he can fire <laughs> after he moves. Because we found that he was kind of useless as a move or shoot. The sniper seems to work out just fine because he's got a nice long range. So he can just kind of camp at the back and provide firing support. Cool. Other thing is going up now costs 2 inches for every inch. Rather than the 1 inch for every inch. Makes and sense. Also the anti-gravity mines, this is a 0.1.5 thing. Anti-gravity mines no longer count as difficult terrain. Because what I was finding was that the only way to get up, now we were, we were dropping anti-gravity mines just to get up a two inch cliff, just so you can get that extra two inches of movement. So we were using them way more often. But the problem with that is you have to, if for any squad that isn't right up against the cliff, they have to walk through the anti-gravity mines. Right. So they lose an inch of movement by doing that. And so it was just working out to be more of a hindrance and a help. And so we're gonna say anti-gravity mines no longer decrease movement and they just help you go up. On top of that, rather than what the anti-gravity mines used to do in 0.1.4, is any cover within two inches you did not get. And instead of doing that, you're going to have a minus two defense while you're in an anti-grav mine. Because it represents you kind of not being able to maneuver yourself as well. Oh, so even out in the open, it's very useful to throw it out on people. Yep, throw it out on people, get minus two to their defense, and uh, away you go. You can cool. just kill them. Have all that kind of fun. Uh, what other changes happened? There were other things, um, but we'll get into those. <laughs> like, for example, when you flee, you lose your command points and you cannot regenerate them while oh. you're fleeing. Yeah, so getting the commander to flee is a big deal. Yeah. And you can't use the commander's leadership while he's fleeing as well. Makes that's, sense. That's something that we decided last game. There's been other changes as well, but we'll come across those. I'll try to save the good ones for when you're actually in the middle of doing something and it screws you over. That way I can win easier. Wow. Sounds like a mad thing to do. <laughs> 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 anyway, so let's play. Um, Dan is going to play the Xlanthos this time, and I'm going to play the Corporation. And just like yesterday, same armies, we found that they're pretty balanced. Both sides die really badly. <laughs> and so on the Corporation side, we have the Commander with the laser rifle, which I've been thinking of buffing a little bit. Thinking of making the laser rifle a uh, rate of fire 3 rather than 2. Just so that the commander on my on the corporation side can actually do some damage as well. Because you got the Electron Master on the yeah. Zlanthos side. <laughs> and so he needs to have something a bit more. Or at least some more abilities. You got a sniper, heavy weapon guy, and then two squads of five troops. On the Zlanthos side we have the commander, the assassin, and a squad of five and a squad of four. So we find that this is pretty even. Um, and that's what, well, the best we can hope for. So let's roll to see who goes first. Hey, oh. you hit my die and it's, it's a six. You have to re-roll that. <laughs> <laughs> no, not my fault. <laughs> so, I was like, it's only a four. I could... Oh, you turned it into a six, but it wasn't even done rolling. No. Okay, so I get to go first. So I will deploy, and then you'll deploy, and then I get to go first. Okay. And I get to go first. 
Did you know I get to go first? You go second. Okay, so we've got 12 inch deployment. So, looks like the sniper can start inside the building. Ooh, that's nice. That wasn't planned at all. <laughs> Wait a minute. Sniper over here. Look at that. Oh, he doesn't get covered there, though. That's okay. That's totally fine. Yeah, he's gonna have to move anyways. He's not gonna be able to fire the first turn. Unless you put your, like, commander out in the open. <laughs> if you really want to. Okay. Oh, I like this. The what? I love this board. It's fun, eh? I like boards like this. This will be fun. Okay, and we got my commander. My commander will start right here. Actually, what am I worried about? I get first turn. There's no skill and initiative in here. <laughs> Don't have to worry about cover right away. There's their command points. Heavy weapon guy will stick near the commander because his leadership sucks. With his command point. And then we got two squads of five. We're going to put one along here and the command the squad leader is the one that has their hand pointing so this one and they don't have to stay that close together they have to stay within six inches of her and then the other squad is going to start inside the gaming club building so that'll be like right here 12 inches You get the idea. All right. Very offensive. Very... Well, I don't mean to offend you. It's, it's okay, you don't. All right, you get the idea. All right. Switch over to your side. All right, so 12-inch deployment. Remember your stealth guy? Start stealth if you want. You don't have to start him stealth if you don't want to. It's true, but I will. I will. Okay. Because, yeah. That is awesome. So 12, 12 inches? Oh, and, and your stealth guy? has uh, an ability that he can move through difficult terrain and through terrain, period. As long as he ends up not inside of terrain. Is that just like passive ability? Uh, we have to activate it right now. It doesn't matter if you activate it. But later on when it's a gravitational thing, and so, or it's, it uses dark matter. So later on we're oh, going to be gotcha. having the thing where if you activate too many gravitational things, it starts to screw up things, but we don't have that yet. So just consider it passive. So he can, he can attack as normal after he does it. Yeah, it doesn't take an action. You actually care. declare it before you move, but you don't need to declare it just okay. because we know that we're not going to okay. be keeping track of the gravitational stuff. Oh. All right, so where are you deploying? Oh, it actually makes them really scary. Move yeah. 16 inches in a straight line. <laughs> Do it. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, it's pretty scary. You put him behind impassable terrain, basically, or full cover, and then he can just jump out on the other side. Makes him deadly. Let me just put it that way. Darn it. What? What are you trying to do? The building isn't within 12 inches. Oh, somebody didn't set up the train very well. <laughs> ah, that's okay. And then, then behind the pillars. And you know what number is the actual guy? Make now up. I do. Okay. <laughs> it's probably usually good to know before you place them. <laughs> Alright, keep going. Okay, okay. Commander, my commander. Oh, you're going first. So. I'm going first. So put your guys out in the open, right in front of my guys. Or not. Not <sighs> sure. Commander. And the first squad. This is difficult because... I'm falling over here. Slightly cowardly to start because. Well, this Lancelots aren't necessarily like the super um, not cowardly race. Courageous, that's the word. <laughs> not cowardly. <laughs> no, their, their fluff doesn't really make them courageous. They have nothing against sneak attacks and hiding. They're sub they live subterranean, they live on the ground, for goodness sakes. So. Oh, they do? Yeah, even on Earth. No. Okay. Okay. And that's, that's the assassins that. are already there. And just put your command points on. Okay, so we've got Corporation, turn one. Okay, quick question before we start. So, rules for the squad shooting is you take the closest person in your squad, 
against the furthest person in the other squad. We were doing that wrong. It's kind of funny yeah. when you do your own rules wrong. It's the farthest person in your squad to the closest in my squad. Okay. So basically, it's your worst range modifier. Think okay. of it that way. So, okay, because I was thinking if it was the other way around, flipped the way we're doing it wrong, then you could just line up a big line of guys and, leave and run up. Back. And, like, doesn't matter how close the guys can be, it's like, we're really far away. Yeah, exactly. No, we, okay. were, we were actually doing it wrong. Don't okay. you love it? We've, the rules have become so developed, there's so many of them now, that we actually have been finding that some of the times we do the rules wrong. Uh -huh. So we have to do, like, a rules you get wrong after these. So it's furthest of mine, the closest of yours. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're basically measuring from squad to squad. The closest to closest will tell you how close they are, but then you take the worst range penalty. So you might as well just measure the farthest to the closest. Okay. Simple as that. Oh, I need you can go. command points for my squads. I allow you to go. Thank you. You're very kind. Thank you. All right. Mr. Com or Mrs. Commander. Uh, mm. Yeah, so I, can't, I do have some line of sight. It's going to be hard to draw a really good line of sight. These guys are going to move up. The building's only five inches. It's an inch to go through. All right, inside the building. Okay. Which conveniently has been cleared out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, one of them is going to use the action to throw a smoke grenade, but they'll do it after they fire. Okay. I'm just trying to see how many of them can see your squad. It's easier for you from this side. The one in the back, one of the guys in the back is obviously going to be throwing a grenade. So they can see it, or the two of them can see it. Yeah, you know what, all five can see it. The one that can't see it, the, the one that's the most iffy is this guy. So he'll throw the grenade. So the other four will fire. Okay. And so, basically the furthest, yeah, we're looking at 27 inches. So it'll be minus one, minus two, minus three range modifier, minus three for going through the building. That's minus six, and then your defense is three, so it's minus nine total. So my troops are 11 plus the four, so 15 minus nine, so it'll be six or less to hit. It's not horrible. No. I can deal with that, because it's the whole squad. Oh. Well, I'm going to use a command point from, the com from them to re-roll that. There we go. That's a direct hit, so but, or not a direct. It's a bad hit. That's so one hit, right? It's one hit, but I just I'm glad to get the hit because that can that'll force you to roll leadership and stuff. Although you got your commander nearby, so you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm gonna hit you once. It'll be at minus one strength with my various handguns. But yeah, they have various handguns now. They're not all armed with shotguns. That changed too. So it's strength four minus your armor of three. So I have to roll a one. All right. No, that's not a one. Still, you have to take a leadership test. Um, your leadership is nine because you have the commander nearby. So let's roll it. Then, okay, you're, uh -huh. good. you're good. And then I'll throw the smoke grenade, which is an AOE three. So basically, with a smoke grenade, you can place it within six inches, or you can throw it within twelve. When you throw it, it deviates d six. And when you throw it, you can actually place it outside of line line of sight. So I could throw it within six inches, but if it's outside of line of sight, it still deviates. Gotcha. So I could like toss it up here, just because I can't see it. It's just me like hucking it. Huh. As long as it could physically get there. <laughs> That's the restriction. Yeah, that makes sense. So, I'm going to put the AOE right here. So, these, it's touching these two guys. So you'll okay. be able to see those two guys. You can't see beyond them. So, if you're looking through, if you're going completely through you any can, part of the... You can see into an AOE, or the smoke grenade AOE, but you cannot see beyond it. Okay. Kind of like in War Machine. Okay. And I'm not afraid to compare to other games because that's where we get inspiration from. But I guess in War Machine, it has a three inch rule still, right? No, or no, no, no. In the AOE, it's a, if, in a War Machine, they, they'll specify a cloud effect. Gotcha. It won't be just any AOE. It'll be, this AOE is a cloud effect. And if it says cloud effect, then it's basically, it grants concealment if you're in it and you cannot see beyond it. Oh, okay. So that's a, that's a War Machine thing. So it's good to know. Interesting. Okay, so that's the squad. The sniper will go next. 
He's actually got a bit of line of sight. Uh oh. But yeah, he can see your squad. It'll be a minus three as well. But then he'll be out in the open. I'll take the shot anyways. <laughs> I can get your squad to run because he has a suppressing weapon, so it's a minus one to your leadership. And these guys right here? Oh, these, these guys. guys. Okay. So, oh, it's outside of 32. <laughs> so it'll be minus two. Oh no. <laughs> minus three because it's a uh, heavy cover, so it's minus five. Minus your defense of three, so it'll be minus eight. My range attacks are ranged is 16, so I have to roll eight or less. Here we go. Got it. So single hit on the squad. <clears throat> At strength six, so it'll be three or less to wound. Oh, I'm gonna use a command point on the sniper to make that a three. So you'll take one wound, so one of the guys dies. Now you have to take a leadership test minus two. Yeah. Minus one for losing a guy, and yeah. minus one for being a sniper. Yeah. So it'll be at a seven or less. Oh, so if you get shot up to bits and lose like three guys. Yeah, that, oh yeah, that changed too. That's a 0 0.1.4 thing. So that's like, so it's. It'd be very hard to roll leadership if you lose less of your squad. And especially if you're outside of your command range. Your yeah. Commander. Okay. So go for it. Seven or less. Okay, so you failed no. it. But you got a ton of command points. Which uh, so will you regenerate. Might well, so you might as well use that so. one. Yeah, exactly. You're going to regenerate it. Still nothing. So you can use one of the commanders. Really? Come on, guys. Pull it together. There you go. So Thank that, you. So it didn't really cost you anything because you'll regenerate those. Except you lost a guy. Yes. So shooting the squad up when there's a commander nearby. You're really trying to destroy command points. But you shoot them when they're not with a commander. Like you would have been at four or less on two dice. Right. So. Okay, so that's the sniper. Um, uh, see, now here it's going to be blocking on this side. The heavy weapon guy is not going to be able to see anything. So the heavy weapon guy is going to move up six or five inches. And then he's going to use his command point to go on Overwatch. Now Overwatch uh -oh. has been changed in this version, 0 0.1.5. I've, I've, made it, I've had it go back to 90, uh, 90 degree template rather than 45. Because finding that the 45 is, uh, we're never using it, it's not that useful. So I'm going to put it like so. Okay. That's dangerous. If your stealth <laughs> guy walks out in front into Overwatch, I get a perception check on it. And right. if I reveal it, I can then fire at it. So heavy weapon guy on Overwatch. I didn't really want to try that. Hmm. Okay, so this squad will just double move. And so they can move 12 inches. So they're going to move. Well, hold on one sec. So just a little change. These guys are going to move twice, except for one guy who's only going to move once and then throw a grenade. Sounds so, like a plan. So this guy will move twice there. This one will move up to there. This one will move up to there. The leader will stick with them. And actually, you know what? They probably shouldn't block the Overwatch. <laughs> no, no. Ah. And then the guy at the back is going to be the one who moves up six inches and then places the AOE within six inches. So this will say it's a gravity one, but we know it's a smoke one. Right. It's going to place it so it's right here. All right. I'm going to place it right here so it's touching these three. Okay. Okay. There we go. I think it's made of paper. Something like that. <laughs> okay, so that's them. And then we got the commander. So the commander will move up six inches. And we'll also go on Overwatch. So just ignore the lines that are on this thing. Hmm. Come here. So it's your turn. Wow, that really kind of puts a hamper on my hiding and cover. <laughs> well, see what I can do.